Hey guys, Dinks here, and you're watching Ave Bat TV. We're gonna check out Steve Jackson and Ian Livingstone's The Warlock of Fartop Mountain. And this short gameplay video came out today on Steam, the 31st of August. And it's kind of like a tabletop game. Choose your own adventure. I mean, I know Ian Livingstone and Steve Jackson by names. I've read pretty much most of their books. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Looking awesome. Unity game. Cannot manage to start on the monitor I wanted to. Holy shit, this game. Even in the launcher, it's so wrong. The options, not much. I mean, we'll be reading a lot, I guess. And by that, I mean I'll be reading. So. Kickstarted. Oh. Nice. Always good to see a good Kickstarter. Succeed. How do we. There we go. Well, I guess we're just gonna start a new game, see where this leads us. Greetings, player. I'm the Hot Queen. Welcome to the world of Titan, in particular the most notorious of all lands, Alansia. What the? Oh, you can choose your style. I'm Uriana, the Keeper of Souls, your guide and your Game Master of Sorts. Dungeon and Dragons! Oh, it's not a book, it's like... Sheets and stuff? I like it. Instead of like, because they choose your own adventure, that really... Pictures a book. Many adventures have entered Fartop Mountain over the last 30 or so years. Voracious readers have wandered the many passages, battling the monsters within and negotiating the many traps. Only then to take on the might of Zagor, the Warwalk. With skill, stamina and luck, they have chosen their many paths. Many of these brave young adventurers have perished in the darkness and their souls, even now, lie unclaimed. That's supposed to mean we're gonna claim them? You appear to be the next brave soul to take on the mountain and all it contains. To do this, you need to choose an Alancian hero to take into the mountain. Don't get too comfortable with your choice, however, as the way are treacherous, the ways are treacherous, and it's doubtful that you will survive. Select your hero. Select your character. Select your fighting style. Okay. There's the next group. Epic adventurers, legendary heroes. Coming soon. What's the difference? Epic adventures? Explorers? Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. Select your hero. I'll take the girl, Alex. Oh my god. This looks complicated. That was it? Ah. Oh. I thought I need to choose one of... I don't think I could choose one of the others though. They were like kinda grayed out. <sighs> Before you entering the mountain... Really entering? Oh, cause the cave. Okay. I'm like, what? I want you to visit the one-armed swordmaster of Anvil, Lin Wen Tsai. He will teach you the basics of combat. During your adventures, you will encounter many different foes, magical and monstrous. Fight the Quantus. Let us learn to walk before we start running, shall we? Ming Li wants you to fight some Quantus. Now let's do it. What? Cool, cool, cool. This looks awesome. In the combat, you can choose to move or attack by selecting a space. And this is this. Wow, this is way better than a book. Like move to advance towards the Quintain. Quintain? Whoa. 
After you select your action, both you and your opponent will play their moves simultaneously. Move to the side to avoid attack. Is attacking? How do I know? Whoa. Sometimes it's better to attack where the enemy is likely to move to instead of where they currently are. Oh boy. And this is complicated. Attack the space in front of the Quentin. If both you and a foe try to attack each other on the same time, you will crush. It is then a test of who has the greater skill with the Wuzu taking damage. We have skill 10, so basically we can fight top man to top. Attack and clash. Clashing. Oh, and then we roll. Oh no. Your enemies will move and attack in somewhat predictable patterns. Pay attention to when they shake to indicate that they will be attacking next round. Use your movement and attacks to defeat the Quentin. I think he's running. I'm attacking. I'm attacking. Yeah. Smart move, I'm attacking. You're gonna come to me, bro. And we're crushing and... Those was one. Fight! Whoa! In addition to the basic attack, your hero has special attacks they can unleash. These powerful attacks can take several turns to recharge. So use them sparingly or wisely. Thinking about it first. Defeat the pair of Quentin. What's this? Whoa. What else is here? What the fuck is talking outside? Touches. Okay. Don't know. Now the piercing strike. Back. And they clashed. Okay, he's running. Can attack there. Now... Ah! Bridges. I'll just attack here. I couldn't try the piercing strike though. Should have maybe. But it pierces like two squares forward. You lost no stamina, you gained three souls. I've defeated them. Congratulations, you have passed the basic combo training. Just one more thing, player. Oh. While on your quest, keep an eye for wooden benches like this one. Yes, they're here where you travel were. Using them will allow you to resource your stamina. If you run out of stamina, your adventure ends. You die miserably. Be sure to take a rest now and then. You also have some provisions which you can use at any time, but they tend to work best when you are resting at the bench, so keep that in mind. You receive three resurrection stones at the start of your quest. If your adventure dies heroically, you can use one stone to bring them back to life. Be warned though that your hero will only appear at the last bench that you passed. You will also lose any souls that you absorb between the seat and the location of their death. This is where I leave you, player. It's time for you to begin your journey. Travel to Firetop Mountain. Let's go, bitches! Oh, we're jumping there, cool. I could not read it, what the fuck? The veil? Rise of returns was safely, Alexandra, and may the luck of the gods be with you rang out. Your fame reaches even the remote towns like Anvil.
your mysterious pattern, a sorcerer known to you only as the Batch, wants to you to seek a massive ruby known as the Eye of the Cyclops, and give it to Zagor, the war, the war who rules the mountain. Wait a second, I thought we have to fight Zagor. When you ask Kit about the significance of the ruby, the sorcerer only smiled and said, You'll see. Oh, I don't like it. The citizens who live in the foothills of the mountain fear Zagor. Although he has been murdering them for many years. If mixed feelings about the adventure ahead, ah, that's never good. One thing is clear though, you will not be dealing with an ordinary wielder of magic. You must be on your guard. It takes you two days to reach the menacing looking mountain with its sharp rocky cracks that jut out at unnatural angles. Legend Angle You approach a cave, a known entrance used by local band of orcs, your hand gripping the hilt of your long sword, as you consider what dangers may lie ahead. Your adventure starts here. Here into the gloom. Oh. Oh, this is stupid. I can't read. What the fuck is this here? Oh. Never mind, I guess I'm stupid. You see dark, slimy walls of, with pools of water on the stone floor in front of you. Hmm. That means black mold. Oh boy. Yeah, it's cold and dank, like the meme you sent your girlfriend. With the smell of orc up my nose, I have a feeling I'm going to meet some formidable foes. That ruby is in this mountain somewhere, I'm going to have to ask politely. Using my sword, of course. Step poorly into the blackness. Approach the fork ahead. After a few, a few yards, you arrive at the junction. You in the forest. Go north. I can't. I can't. Turning west. Oh, hello. Little way along the passageway you come. What is clearly a sentry post. Sleeping. Wow. That looks old. And, well, not tough at all. You approach with caution and you can see an orc in leather armor, asleep at his post. Classic. Work work. Hope all of Zagor's minions are this lazy, this could be my quickest adventure yet. Carefully approach. Try to tiptoe past, or wake and interrogate him. Yeah, let's wake him up. You prod the orc awake with the pommel of your sword. <laughs> he leaps to his feet. Training for his weapon, which you swiftly kick out of his reach. I am Alex of Black Sand. I seek the eye of the Cyclops. The orc seemed to recognize you, or at least he recognized you from the last season of... What was that called? Oh, The Biggest Loser. Oh, I see. I am famous, you know. He does not speak the trader tongue, but his shrugging and sniveling make it clear to you you're not going to get any useful information out of him. You tie him up and get him. <laughs> and just like that, we continue along the passage. <sighs> the passages begin to widen. Till you enter a cave. However, blocking the king exit are two of the ugliest creatures you have ever seen. They have the portion of dogs, but their hide is rough and scaly. Each beast is chained to the cave wall. Secure to the thick brass cores. The door hounds begin to snarl and strain at their chains. They cannot reach you, but their chains are long enough that should you approach should you approach, you will not be able to escape their flavoring jaws. I've come across these poor creatures before on previous quests. Or generally don't treat them very well, which can make them quite vicious. I'll distract. Yeah, we're not gonna kill the dogs. Remembering your education on the Beasts of Titan, you think back to the notes of Orc Hounds 
Although vicious, they're easily distracted as long as you have the right treat. Jan out of meat. Oh, I don't have meat. Well, shit. As long as you have the right treat. So I don't have the right treat, so we're gonna have to fight them. Fight. Yeah, baby. Come to Papa. Mind this game's pretty cool. Your move. I'll do a piercing strike here. Quick jab. Whoa. And just like that, I killed it. You know what? I can hit on the side, bruh. Now what? Now we attack there. And we easily win them. You've defeated. You lost no stamina. And we jump. Oh, that's a. And not. No need to rest. Play, I will strongly advise you sitting on this bench. If you do not, you won't be able to resurrect at this location. Oh, okay. You sit. Plus five stamina. Wait. But I'm max stamina anyway. And there is a door. No. You're going. Fuck it, let's open the door. The trap. The door opens to reveal a small smelly room. In the center of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stand a lit candle. That's lit. Underneath the table is a small wooden box. Proving that your educated guess is correct, you see a green skinned orc asleep on a straw mattress. I wonder what's in that wooden box. Can't I just fight the orc? Breathing softly, your luck holds out as you easily back out the room without waking the orc. Leave the room and open the box in the passage. A hidden compartment has been knocked loose, revealing a cache of gold pieces. There's also a small mouse. Which must have been the creature's pet. Oh, that's not good, good. That's not good news at all. He's gonna come. You release the mouse. And we continue onward. Orky sleeping quarters. Kinda smelly. Another door. No, I'm going. Well, this is so good. Damn. What a nice game. Steve Jackson and Neil Livingston's The Warwalk, a part of Mountain. I'm Dinksy and this was Ave but TV with the gameplay footage. Rate the video, follow the channel, and I'll see you next game. Thanks for watching.